I am Dr. Pat Rabjohn. I'm the primary physician and owner here at Rabjohn Behavioral Institute, and I'm a board certified psychiatrist by the American Board of Psychiatry and Neurology. Anxiety is a horrible, horrible disease, and we've all experienced it at some point. That general feeling of unease, worry, fear. Now, a little bit of anxiety, mild anxiety, sometimes can be a good thing, but when it's severe, it can be very, very debilitating and it can wreck your life. Here at our office, we do an excellent job diagnosing and treating the various anxiety disorders. Some people have generalized anxiety where they worry too much, too often about too many things. Sometimes that can evolve and progress into physical anxiety or panic attacks where the person may develop severe shortness of breath, nausea, dizziness. They may be sweaty, shaky, feel like walls are closing in. Some people have obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD. And if you've been through a traumatic experience, you may even have post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. Here at our office, we can do a thorough one-hour evaluation and diagnose which specific anxiety disorder you have, and then we can lay out a variety of treatment options. We have various medications that can treat anxiety, but we also have two excellent therapists at our office that can treat the various anxiety disorders. Now, I'm going to introduce you here to Ms. Tiffany Milet, one of our two therapists. She's outstanding with cognitive behavioral therapy, one of our primary therapeutic techniques for treating anxiety. Hi, I'm Tiffany Milet, a licensed clinical social worker. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, is a very effective approach for panic disorder. It is a short-term treatment, typically 10 to 15 weeks long, that uses a very goal-oriented practical approach. Simply, we want to change the way that you think, therefore changing your behavior. Hence the name Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. My role is to help the patient identify their beliefs and their thinking errors, and replace those beliefs with more effective and realistic thoughts. In a typical session, I will start by reviewing the homework from the prior session. CBT homework usually involves mood and anxiety charts where the patient will rate or select a number to identify where their mood was throughout the course of that week. Next, we will do a simple mood check to see how the patient is feeling as a transition into discussing what the problems were throughout that week and later on discuss what problems the patient anticipates arising over the following week. This sets the agenda for the rest of the session and helps transfer responsibility to the patient to prioritize what needs to be focused on in the current session. We then work together to problem solve the issues that were brought up by the patient. This involves testing how accurate the patient's thoughts and beliefs are about that specific problem. For example, if a person is struggling with alcohol addiction, we will work on identifying high-risk situations that could potentially trigger a relapse. That may involve rehearsing or practicing social situations, learning relaxation techniques, or just learning how to say no. I will usually have the patient write down their thoughts in the thought record. We will then review the session and I'll obtain feedback on how they felt the session went, and then assign homework for the next week. I really love this type of therapy because the patient is an active participant in their treatment, and it transfers ownership to the patient more and more each week. We've had a lot of success in the last three years with this type of treatment in anxiety disorders, panic attacks, OCD, alcohol addiction, driving, and PTSD. If we can help you in any way, please visit us at www.rbipsychiatry.com or call us at 817-539-2282.